in this presentation item analysis of multiple choice question exam will be described one component of the item analysis is item distractor the distractor will be defined and an example will be given and features of the distractor will be listed and the analysis will be performed to determine whether the distractor is effective and functional or not using two separate methods the first one is the percentage value the p-value the second method is the item discriminations Killy's equation method to determine whether the distractor can distract the student from selecting the correct answer and attracting them to select the wrong answer item distractors are the multiple choice answer options that are not the correct answers this is an example of a multiple choice question question one covid 19 infection is caused by and there are four possible answer options a b c d a is the correct answer and b and c and d are the incorrect answers so b and c and d are called the distractors because they distract the student from selecting the correct answer which is a and attracting them to select the wrong answer or answers which is b or c or d good item distractor should be plausible i.e reasonable options but not correct have negative discrimination i.e chosen by low performing students effective distractor will distract the student from the correct answer and will attract low performing student than high performing students item distractor analysis is one way to measure how well each of the incorrect option in a multiple choice question contributes to the quality of the question it does assess whether the distractor function effectively in distracting the student from selecting the correct answer it does examine the percentage of student who selected each incorrect answer to determine whether the distractors are functional it does examine how good is the distractor in discriminating between high performing and low performing students and attracting low performing students two most frequently used indices that assess the effectiveness of a distractor are the proportion value or percentage value as it is similar to the difficulty value and the item discrimination that is used to determine whether the distractor can discriminate between high performing and low performing student and the um, analysis is based on Kelly's equation method so how do we calculate the distractor efficiency using two possible 
tests. The first one is the proportion value in which the distractor percentage is calculated by counting the number of students selected distractor one divided by the total number of student or students multiplied by 100. The second calculation or test is the item discrimination following Kelly's method id equal to upper group minus lower group divided by the 27 percent of the student selected based on their total score so the way to calculate the id is to first calculate the total score achieved by each individual participant in a test or exam then rank this total score from high to low and then group the student into upper group and lower group upper group represent the top 27 percent total scores and the lower group represent the bottom 27 percent total score so in the proportion value or test the percentage of the student selecting the distractor is calculated and the distractor effectiveness have a range from zero to a hundred percent a distractor that has been selected by more than five percent of the students indicate that it is functional effective distractor and a distractor that has not been selected by any student will be non-functional, useless distractor. And a distractor that have been selected by less than 5% of the student is considered to be a non-functional distractor. Another method to assess the distractor or item distractor is to calculate the distractor discrimination each distractor will have its own item discrimination value it will compare the test will compare the performance of 27 percent high scorer with the performance of 27 percent low scorers the value ranges from one to minus one and the distractor have negative discrimination index value is considered to be functional and a distractor that has a positive discrimination index value is considered a non-functional and distractor with a zero value of id indicates that it is an ineffective one that need to be replaced rephrased or rewritten this is in this slide an example for item distractor analysis using the p value or the percentage value for 54 students participating in the test and answering in a multiple choice question that have four options a b c d a is the correct answer b and c and d are the wrong answers so they are distractors and to calculate the percentage for each the first distractor b two students selected the distractor so two divided by 54 multiplied by 100 equal four percent distractor number distractor c has a value of 35 percent and d has a nine percent value for um, for the p percentage of a proportion value as we can see the distractor b is selected by less than five percent of the students so it is non-functional and it is useless However, distractor C and D is selected by more than 5% of the student. Thus, it is functional and it is effective. 
another way to analyze the item distractor is to use the item discrimination following Kelly's method. Here is an example for a hundred students answering a multiple choice question that has four options. A is the correct answer, B and C and D are the distractors. To perform this analysis, the total scores achieved by each individual student for those hundred students is calculated and the total score uh, um, is arranged from high to low and based on that total score an upper group and lower group is generated the upper group will have the top 27 percent total score and the lower one will have the lowest 27 percent for distractor b and c and d as we see here the id value is equal to zero for distractor b which means that both the high performing and low performing student selected this distractor in equal proportion thus it is ineffective non-functional distractor c on the other hand has been selected by the low performing student so it attracted low performing student and it has a minus value this distractor is functional and it's effective distractor d is non-functional as it has attracted more of the high performing student than the low performing student to select this distractor